hi everybody today we are going to learn how to start getting started in civil 3d so once we double click the civil 3d icon autodex uh, civil 3d uh, a window will come like this so within that there will be file menu windows and help so once we have to start the things either we can start with this icon this is the same the we used to for microsoft office tools this is the same type of icon so we can use this or else we can use open okay so drawing one has been saved now once we have to start the drawing first thing we have to check that is called its coordinate system and other things so once we open the drawing a new drawing we should go to the setting tab we should we must save the drawing and after that same drawing we should we have to right click edit the drawing settings once you start editing the drawing settings you will get a window like this this is the drawing setting window there you can find unit transformation object layer abbreviation and every in under the surface this is the surface actually created here surface natural ground ng here also we can right click and surface property here we can see there is surface style we can change the style here or we can create a new style to make it as per our desirable surface property let's go to surface property so in the surface property tab we can see there are information definition analysis statistics uh, here is the thing surface level uh, spot elevation spot elevation will ask select a point so this is the spot elevation so at this point the surface level is 620 if i move it somewhere here 613 this is the dynamic it is the dynamic one it is 600 this is just annotation this is not point or no element this is just a annotation here is nothing because there is no surface this is out of the surface okay now suppose i want to see uh, if i uh, want to create a drain along this where should i give it so what to do in the surface utility there is something called water drop analysis water drop analysis it will come 2d polyline or 3d polyline whatever you want place mark start point okay i can give yes or no whatever you feel so the suppose the water is here it will come and it will accumulate here and if i put the water here it will come over here so because the road is in cut hence the water will go this way and this is the lowest point for two let's see how to create alignment from polyline and layout uh, let's start from create alignment from polyline hopefully it will the easiest one then we will come to know the detail one that create alignment by layout so alignment by polyline is nothing but we have to draw a polyline first let's take a polyline so i can draw a line then i can take an arc somewhere like this and somewhere like this then i will put a line something like enter so i can see this is a polyline so creating alignment from polyline is very simple one we have to just pick this create alignment from polyline so it will ask you select the polyline and we have to select the alignment now it will once you pick the alignment 
it will show you what is the direction of the alignment so the change will go gradually increase in this way so either you if you want to make it reverse you have to click here or you can keep it and make enter so now it will ask alignment name so in the alignment creation box we can get the thing for alignment name uh, let's take this as a polyline alignment polyline one okay here we have to define these four types here so as per our definition here this alignment will be categorized here if i will put it offset this alignment will go within this area or it will, it can be subdivided if we i mention it as a curve return this alignment will go within this curve return alignment area so here is the type of the alignment we have to define uh let's call it miscellaneous suppose through this next this is the alignment statistics area what are the alignment having so this is the alignment grid view means the alignment property whatever we have defined within this alignment this is in tabular format so we can see we have defined all the radius should be 600 meter all the spiral length must be 75 and based on that this alignment has been prepared now suppose i want uh, i don't like 600 here i need here suppose 850 and this will be let's say 65 this will be 65 so this has been changed now as per our input design so this is the tabular form of this alignment Uh, the first tangent what we have drawn it was a fixed tangent that is we know the two end of the tangent was controlled by us so the starting point it was our choice and where we have ended the tangent it was simply our choice there was no restriction for the tangent hence it was a fixed tangent now uh, we will provide a curve so that the curve should attach to the tangent and this side curve should be free to move so it is called floating curve so we will go with uh, some floating curve with spiral okay so here is the option floating curve with spiral so there we can give what are the you can see both of the first two options are same only the inputs are different depending on our uh, data available so it is from entity so where should we start in red radius the radius of the curve we are going to give and then it will ask the length length of the transition or sometime we can give the through point for the curve okay so we will go with the pose curve with the spiral through point so i will take this tangent define the radius so our radius we have taken 85 So now we can see here there is a center line alignment one which we have prepared and that alignment is done with the element method how to understand whether the alignment is in element method or not so it is 
only after selection of the alignment only you can understand whether it is done in the element method or not see here the pi points are not developed as we used to get in the quick method there is a small pi point has been created because here we have used a curve fillet without any spiral so that free element is this one it is a notation for that and you can see no other location there is any other pi point is created something triangle like this so that's why this is the element wise design so the slopes and all so this is the first assembly has been prepared now we will put some uh, uh, let's say after this there can be some artwork so delight can be used or for our simple case we can use the generic the basic delight uh, sorry not the basic uh, delight it is yeah. basic side slope is something like this so what happened here here is uh, this sub assembly must be taken as a lift and now we will check the assembly properties for each of the element whether it is okay or not 3.5 meter and then um, <coughs> slope cut slope 2 is to 1 fill slope you should take let's say 2 is to 1 in our last session uh, we had run two set of um, <coughs> assembly one is uh, without any median or without any uh, separator there is a uh, one lane road dual carriageway and then two lane dual carriageway with uh, separator as with <coughs> barrier so if we go to the corridor we can see in the start portion from starting onwards uh, this is the center line this is uh, both the carriageway uh, let's stick the cross section side by side then I think it will be good to see uh, to get the cross section side by side we should go to view and we can make viewport uh, two viewport vertically so see this is our first cross section what we have applied or rather assembly so here is here are the two lengths without any separator after that uh, we can see there is hard shoulder now let's see how to generate the cross section so for creating the cross section we have to prepare some cross section line and along the line the cross section will be generated so there is something called section here under the section there is uh, option called create sample line create sample line means it will create the line along which we want to see the sections if I click it it is asking for the origin so I want to see the section let's say somewhere here wow so you can see 
on the section where all the section has been created i'll i'll come to the point below so if there is any delight created all this has been created uh, actually there should be some retaining wall need to be proposed in future so this is the way uh, one thing please read the disclaimer for your information thank you